Yo, 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 everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of the Babble Mouth Podcast. I'm your host, I'm Nexus, and welcome to another episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the first Urban Legends episode. I do want to quickly bring this up. This is a short little topic. We're going to go in and out of this one like a vagina. <laughs> anyway, before we actually get started, check this out. You ready? You ready? Oh, god damn. The fuzz coming out of there right now. It's the foam, not fuzz, but. God damn, that shit good. Anyway, just want to quickly uh, just want to quickly talk about the la la the la 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 la. I quickly want to talk about the first episode of Urban Legends. I do apologize that I cannot read properly. It's because I was reading extremely fast. I don't know why. I think it's just what this is how I read, and. It was kind of a. Uh, it was hard to understand what I was saying at certain points because I was reading it so fast. But then I was also slurring my words a lot, so I do apologize. Episode two will be a lot better in terms of that, so I do apologize. Episode two will be much better for the Urban Legend series, which is coming out next. That's the next thing in the list. I probably will do all the research tonight for the episode and get it all ready and set to go. So, uh. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy that when it comes out. But anyway, let's get into this episode. We've got a couple of topics we can talk about tonight. Hopefully, we have a good old time talking about them. First thing I want to talk about, this probably will be another quick topic because I don't really have much of an opinion on it, honestly. But uh, Call of Duty Cold War, a couple weeks back, released a zombies mode called Outbreak. And if you guys didn't know, I am a fan of the zombies of the zombie series. I've been playing zombies since Black Ops 1. I didn't play the uh, World War Zombies. Uh, I could have. World at War Zombies, I didn't play. I mean, I played it, but I wasn't like... I didn't really play it that much, you know? Black Ops 1 was uh, the first time I played Zombies. Black Ops 2 was the first time I got really into it. Black Ops 3 I really liked. Black Ops 4 I did not care for at all. And then uh, Cold War. We have gone into Cold War quite a bit as well. I don't know how many hours I've played. I, I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. I think I'm Prestige 3 in Cold War from just zombies. So that's something, I guess. But um, there's people who... I don't, I don't play the game that much anymore. So anyway. So Outbreak is basically uh, open world zombies inside of Call of Duty. I think it's a cool concept. It's kind of hard by yourself when you get to the higher rounds. When I say higher rounds, I mean like round five, six, seven. It's pretty fucking insane, honestly. Because I was on round six, and I had to do the uh, the one where you have to when you're in the house and you have to like hold. What was it called? I don't remember what it was called. Like hold down or something. I think it was called hold down. What was it? Was what it? Well, you have to like def- it was house defense or. You have to, like, defend the house or whatever. So I did that, and on round six, I got fucking swarmed in this tiny little house. It was kind of fucking bullshit, honestly. I didn't have good enough weapons to really hold it down. I was on the last, like, minute, and I couldn't because I just got swarmed by everything. It was it was pretty fucked up, honestly. But uh, other than that, it was cool. The open world concept is awesome. If you were, If I was with people, it probably would have been a lot better. But the one annoying thing I didn't like was because on PC you can modify the install of Call of Duty. So I only have zombies installed. But to play Outbreak, you have to have multiplayer installed as well. And it, uh, even if you just play offline solo, you still have to have multiplayer on uh, installed onto the game. So now I have zombies and fucking multiplayer installed. So... I mean, it doesn't really matter, but multiplayer by itself is 23 gigs alone. I think Zombies was like 27, maybe less. It was up there. But, um, I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, you have to have that. But, um, yeah, Cold War, there's four maps on... Basically, what you have to do is every map has its own little objective. You have to do the objective for that map. And then at the end, you'll either, you can either end the round and like you can like end the entire match, or you can go into the next round, which takes you to a different map. And these are all very these are all unique maps. 
And um, apparently they use blackout assets. If Kumi's listening to this right now, that's why it probably reminded you of blackout. It's because they use assets from that game. Funny enough. Because there was, um, there was parts of the maps that, like, like, whoa, this looks like Blackout. And it did, honestly. But, uh, yeah, that game is dead. Blackout is gone forever, and it will never come back, because Warzone has taken over. And, uh, anyway, yeah, so they did use Blackout assets. But, basically, you have to do the objective on every map. There's four maps. I, I couldn't tell you the name of the maps. There's a snow one. There's, like, a muddy fucking forest one. The snow, the muddy forest. There's like a, I think a town one. Is there only three? I swear there was four. Let me think. Snow. Muddy little forest. You got. Muddy forest, snow. There's definitely four. I'm pretty sure there's four maps. I don't remember what they are though. I don't fucking know. I'm fucking pissed. Is there four? I'm pretty sure there's four. Snow. Muddy forest. Town. I swear there's another one. I don't remember what it is. There might only be three. I don't know. At this point, I have no fucking idea. But there's like three or four maps. You get in. You gotta just switch between all of them. Until you die. And... Because they also, with the Outbreak update, they added more levels to the perks and the field upgrades and the ammo mods and stuff. They added two more upgrades to literally everything. So now you have to get more crystals. But the cool thing is, is there's different rarity of crystals now. There's like, there's the regular crystal and then there's the one above that. And then there's like the uh, really rare crystal, which you get like, two, you can get like, you get like one of those every, every round. But I think it's random. To which ones they give you. I think it's called Flawless Amethyst. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Something like that. So yeah. I think that's cool. They added a ton of new content. Ton of new content. Outbreak doesn't have perk machines. Only thing you have is the Wonder Fizz. Which I think it can spawn in the map. But if it doesn't. It always spawns at the end of the match. If you decide to keep going throughout the rounds. I think there's like five different types of objectives. There's the there's the defend the point, the house one you have to defend like you're like in a house and you have to like defend it or whatever. There's one where you have to like get cartridges or little fucking casings or whatever for a rocket. There's one you have to kill an apex zombie thing. There's which are <laughs> there's the uh, transport one. There's uh there's like five or four of them or some shit like that. It was. I think overall it was a it's a cool game mode. I could definitely see myself having fun in that. You don't really kill a lot of zombies because they're kind of spread out. Because these maps are pretty big. It's like they're pretty big maps. It's like they're definitely the bigger zombie maps. It's like an entire map, all in like one. Of them. You don't have to open doors either. That's the other thing. So you don't have to open doors in Outbreak. At least I don't think you. Most of them you just walk into the buildings. Pretty sure at least. There might be just something you have to open, but you can pretty much do everything you can in regular zombies. You got the um, little mini game things you can do to like get rewards. The you can get the intel, or you can get the perks or the weapons from doing the uh, there's a little a little mini game thing. You get armor. There's a, like there's a couple armor stations throughout. There's a thing you can do with the dragon. I think overall it is a cool game mode. I'd give it like a probably like a seven point five out of ten. For, uh, overall, it is cool. I enjoy it. But, uh, other than that, I really have nothing else. I don't really have other anything else to say about it, to be honest. But, um, yeah, let's move on, I suppose. I need to, uh, hold on to this for a second. What was the next topic we got? Should we talk? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. But, everyone, next topic, let's do this. Anyway, so, um, today, big day, boys. Big day, boys and girls. So, I paid Kumi cool last night, right? And he sent the PS4 and the monitor and all that stuff to me. It should be here Friday. At least that's what it was paid for. So, it's not here Friday. And then, um, scam. So, just saying. Scam, that's not here Friday. Scam. It wouldn't be the first time Kumi cool scammed me, so it's fine. 
So basically, you're getting a PS4 Pro, a 4K monitor. I may or may not have to buy a 4K HDMI cable. We'll have to wait and see on that one because I'm not sure. Tomorrow, I need to go buy screws to mount the monitor to my arm. I, if you guys haven't seen my setup, what it looks like now, join my Discord. Go to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash I'm Nexus. Down below in the panels, you'll see a Discord link. Join my Discord, and there's a picture of my setup. That's what it looks like right now. If you guys want to see what it looks like without the PS4 Pro. When I get the Pro and everything, I'll probably make a... I might honestly make a gaming setup video when I get it all set up. It shouldn't take too long. But the one thing, I do want to add this real quick. The other day when I was moving my 27-inch monitor, my 27-inch monitor was uh, vertical. Because, I don't know, it just looks cool. And I wanted it to be that way. And um, it was vertical, but I, I was moving that monitor to be the top monitor. So I'm going to have three that go straight horizontal, right? And then there's going to be the 27 inches. It's still going to be horizontal, but it's going to be on the top of all of them. So it's going to be one, two, three in a line, and then the 27 inches in the middle. So I was moving it to be in that position. And when I was doing it, I broke my RGB little cable that was in the back of the desk. It fucking broke, unfortunately. But, uh, my friend bought one. I think literally that day he bought one, right? And I told him, if you forget this in my car, I'm gonna use it. And I did, because he forgot it in the car. So, uh, I used it. And this one is, it's really bright. I do like that it's brighter than the other one. Only thing that's annoying, and it's also, this one also plugs into my PC. Because the other one that I had plugged into the wall. And it took a, it was a massive plug-in, and it took up, like, a large chunk of space. You know those plug -in, those wall plug-ins that, like, take up, like, two plug-ins worth of space? You can't plug anything next to it? It was one of those kind of plug-ins, and it was fucking stupid, and I fucking hated every second of it. But I don't use it anymore, because it broke. It ripped. So part of it still worked, but the other, like, five feet that didn't rip, that was stuck to the desk still lost connection obviously because it's not connected anymore and now it's gone but we have a new one so basically i just bought him another one because i've i mean i was always I, I used his the one he bought but then i just bought another one and gave it to him because he wanted to use it still and i told him hey if you fucking leave this i'm using it so i did i'm a man of my word and speaking of people being a man of their word i told cool me in his stream like last week or something that if i donate you ten thousand bits will you replay the last of us 2 because i'm because once i get the ps4 pro and that's what one that's one of the games i'm playing i think i might have talked about this already but the games i'm playing on ps4 to begin with are going to be uh the last of us 2 then spider-man miles morales and then we're playing days gone those are the three games i have for now we might play uh ghost of tsushima maybe I probably would end up playing it, but as of right now, it's not on the list. But we'll have to wait and see on that one because I'm not 100% sure if I want to, but I probably will. So, so yeah. And uh, there's not going to be any more VR streams because basically what I did is uh, I, because it was Chris's, my one of my roommates, Chris. If you guys watch my channel, you know who Chris is, so it doesn't matter. So, my roommate, um, Basically, I gave him the VR for his birthday. I just gave him the VR headset. I saved him a ton of money because he was going to buy one. And I was like, I don't even fucking need this shit. If I ever want it again, I'll just use it. And uh, basically, I gave it to him. So that's cool. And also, tomorrow, I'm going to pick up a new mouse. Because they, me and Chris, were, uh, were out getting some things done. And we went into Best Buy. I went into Best Buy to get a new pair of earbuds to begin with. And I was going to get him an SSD. But, um, I went and got my, I did get a new pair of earbuds, the Scroll Candy Wireless. They're fucking really good quality. If you need any earbuds, they're pretty cheap, so I'm not really 100% on them quite yet. But they, for what they are, they're pretty good. They're only $28.99, so you can't really go, can't go bad with them. I was going to get AirPods to begin with. And uh, I decided that I'm going to save a lot of money and not get those. So I didn't. I got the school candy ones instead. So, uh, anyway, back, back to the, so I was in Best Buy, and he bought this mouse. It's a, a SteelSeries mouse. If you've ever seen a final mouse, 
has like the the holes in it and they're like really light that's the kind of mouse it is but still it's a steel series version of that and it weighs 66 grams when i say ladies and gentlemen this is the lightest mouse i have ever used i am not lying and i'm going to get one tomorrow i still have my uh g305 is that what's called the g305 mouse with a ultra lithium battery in it so it's super light as well but even then this i mean my mouse is like way heavier than that mouse and it's like that is awesome because if you don't know a light mouse if you're into that kind of thing it's very nice <laughs> i guess so i'm gonna get it if i end up not liking it i can always return it because best buy has two week policy so two weeks is plenty of time to know if you like a mouse i think you could probably know if you like it within a day day or two would be good oh, my leg itches hold up huh. hold up we'll get back to my story in a second so yeah, I'm going to get that mouse. <clears throat> but anyway, back to the cool me thing. So basically, I donated today 10,000 bits to him. And he has to replay The Last of Us 2. And if you guys have never played The Last of Us 2, and oh, I guess, well, I guess even if you have, basically, cool me does not like the game. I, I And I did ask him, ladies and gentlemen, I did ask him, what I didn't ask him, what don't you like about it? Because I already know. But I asked him, do you not like the gameplay, or do you not like the story? He said, the gameplay is good, I just hated the story. That was his words. I have it in text form, I can prove it. Anyway, <laughs> so he has to replay that, and if he is able to stream tomorrow, he's going to start tomorrow. And I will probably start on f either Friday or Saturday, I'll start streaming console. Maybe if I do Friday... It won't be until, like, midnight, which is unfortunate, but I will definitely play on Friday. I don't give a fuck. I'll be streaming a lot, because if you guys didn't know, I've been in kind of a rough patch in the streams. I just, I've lost, not necessarily, I don't, I don't think I've lost motivation. I just have no idea what I want to play. I've been in a rough patch of wanting to play certain things, because I just don't know what to play. Because I was really into Rust for a long time. Then I lost, not in, I'm still going to play it, but I just lost interest in playing it that much currently. So we're just get, we're just taking a break is all, really. So I'm not like gone from the game. But we've been in a rough patch, and I've been waiting for this console. And I'm really excited because we're going to play The Last of Us 2, like I said, all these games. And the streams are going to be, be popping off. We're popping off. Oh yeah, let's go. We're starting The Last of Us 2. Hopefully this Friday, which is the 20th, no, 20th is, well, Friday is tomorrow, technically, because it's 12.08 a.m. right now, and I was, I was recording, 20th would be Saturday, so we're either going to play on the night, we're either going to play tomorrow, or on the 20th, if not the 19th on the 20th for sure. It'll be at like 11.30 p.m. Because I do work. Unfortunately. But it is what it is. You do what you gotta do anyway. So yeah, he has to play The Last of Us 2 again. And it's hilarious. So. 10k bits. If you guys don't know how much money that is. And Twitch, it's a, it's 100 bucks. But you have to pay $126 to actually get it. So I pay 126 Then he gets 100 bucks basically. And uh. I think they make you do it that way because that's like Twitch's cut. Basically, you pay $26 extra for them to get a cut because they don't get a cut of bits. I'm pretty sure they don't at least. They get a cut of the subs and they get a cut of, I don't even know what else they get a cut of. I think ad, well, ad revenue. Ad revenue and subs they get cuts of for sure. I'm not 100% sure on everything they get cuts of, but the bits they don't. Or donations they don't either because that's not even through them. I'm surprised Twitch doesn't do that, though. Have their own little donation system. Just to get cuts of donations. They get they can make it, like, really tiny. Like, oh, we'll take fucking 2% of every donation. And they'll still make a shitload of money. But, yeah. Anyway. Let's get to the uh, next. Oh, yeah, PS4. Was I, I, that's pretty much all. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about there. And, uh. Yeah. Anyway, let's do... I am working on a new YouTube video. I don't want to say it's going to happen because I might not ever finish it. But I am working on a new YouTube video. I can tell you the video is going to be titled Finding Myself. I have shot one shot for it so far. Maybe I'll work on some other things. 
tomorrow maybe but I may or may not be finishing that video because once we get the PS4 the video will be irrelevant honestly but we might still make it just to make a little cinema cinematic little dramatic video but uh we'll see on that one honestly but I do want to talk about recently I've been really into smoking big joints <laughs> I've been in, I'm not really into it, but me and my friend hang out once a week. This week we've hang out twice. Me might even hang out tomorrow. I probably won't hang out with him tomorrow because I kind of, I don't know, I'll just kind of, me, I just kind of want to do my own thing tomorrow, you know, just hang out. I'm going to watch The Walking Dead tomorrow. I always go to my parents' place and watch The Walking Dead with my mother. Shout out. We always do that. I do like this. I don't want to, I just want to say this real quick. I, I like that they added The Walking Dead to AMC Plus when AMC Plus is now on Amazon. Instead of being on fucking AMC's dumbass website. It's nice. Because now it's easier to uh, navigate. Because it's on Amazon instead of AMC's website. Anyway. So I've been into smoking joints. Basically me and my friend hang out every week. And I did today as well. We smoke a, we smoke a dube. You know we do the puff puff pass type shit. I think I don't know how many hits all together I took. I think I got like. I think I'd probably got like 45% of it and he got the other 55 because he does way more than I do, obviously. Cause I don't smoke often at all. I just like once a week at most. But this week we did twice. But the f second time, the first time this week, it was actually a dab pen. Like I had a dab pen once and then I got fucked because I, uh, I'm not really a weed smoker. But I mean, I've only really gotten into it recently, so I can't say I ever really was to begin with, but... So yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to share that. If you guys have any weed tips or anything like that, I don't. I don't rip bongs. I don't do anything like that. I only do joints. This is. I, just, I don't know. I just prefer it that way because I feel like it's simpler, a lot easier. It's a lot easier. It's just a lot easier that way. Nothing else to it. You just suck and fucking suck. Inhale whatever you gotta do, and you're done. A dab pen's even easier because all you have to do is suck on that one. You just suck, inhale it in, release, and you're good to go. I also have determined that I do not like alcohol. I do not like alcohol at all. I tried three cocktails the last, like, two weeks. Both terrible. I had one at this one Mexican restaurant. It was dog shit. It just did not taste good. It did not. It's the taste of the alcohol in that. The one we had at the Mexican place also was just gross all to begin with because nothing in it tasted anything. It didn't taste good at all anything and it did not taste good uh we also me and my friend went to Olive Garden last week and we had the um Italian margarita and I also had this one other mar this other uh uh cocktail I don't know what it was called but it was like really uh it was like it was really light blue and I was like damn it's gonna be good it's made of lemonade and it has like vodka in it and it has this like liquor shot thing in it as well and I was like, damn, this won't be too bad, I don't think. And I got it. It was so strong, and I did not like it. I think, I just don't like alcohol at all. I'm done with alcohol. I'll share this story real quick as well. On my birthday, which is on February 16th, by the way. On my birthday, um, this same friend was over. And we were drinking this bottle of whiskey in my car. I wasn't driving or anything. I'm not drinking and driving. We were sitting in the parking lot outside my apartment. And we were drinking this bottle, right? And he, he he brought two shot glasses with him. And I was like, he handed me one of them. And I was like, bro, this is not one shot. This is two. This is 100% two shots. There's no way this is one. He's like, don't don't worry, bro. Trust me, that's one shot. And I was like, okay, whatever you say. And um, and also, I need to tell you, this, this story is in the span of an hour. So put that in, just remember that. That is context for the outcome of this story. Everything I tell you happens within an hour. So within like the first, I'd say 20 minutes, we've taken like four shots. And remember, my shot glass was two shots. So at the end of the day, my shot glass was two shots. So I've actually taken eight shots in a matter of 20 minutes, basically. More or less, maybe less or anything. Regardless, basically at the end of the night, both my roommates were back from work. I was gone, plastered, done for. Actually, one of my roommates was still here. I actually came in. And then um, I was gone. Dead. Dead. So done. 
and we were about to head to a store, and I was in the back seat, obviously. My roommate was driving. And I got into the car, and I was like, roll down the window. I'm about to throw up. And I did. So basically, by the end of the night, I had taken 12 shots in a matter of, an, in the span of like an hour. It was pretty fucked. And it wasn't complete blackout, because I still remember a lot. But I think one more shot, I probably would have been gone. Like, really gone. I think I was on, honestly borderline on alcohol poisoning. Because that was a lot of alcohol in a short amount of time. But we vomited all out and we're good to go. So, But yeah, I was fucked up for like two days. I was fucking so dead. But that's when I was on my COVID leave, so I didn't have to work. So that definitely helped. Because if I had to go to work, gone. Not happening. It would have been fucked. I mean, I could have, I would have been fine. Because the first day, I felt like shit all day. But the second day was a little better. It was a lot better, honestly. But, yeah, it is what it is. So that it's over. I mean, I haven't drank since, so... That's not true. Like I said, I had the cocktails, but that's really it. And I didn't even drink. I took, like, two sips out of all of those all together, and it's... They're not good. I just don't like alcohol. I hate taking shots. I hate... I mean, I can drink Mike's. Mike's hard. Those are somewhat good, at least. I can drink those pretty easily. But anything else? Not happening. I definitely ain't drinking beer. I ain't no... I ain't doing that. That's for damn show. But, uh... Yeah. Thought I'd share that because I haven't shared that story yet. Actually, it's a funny little story I have for you. All right, last topic. I just want to talk about this. So basically, if you guys didn't know, I work at Walmart. I'm a Cap Two associate, which basically means a uh, general merchandise stocking for the most part. And they're actually changing the position. Funny enough, so on, so on starting on March 19th, I'm getting a raise to $16 an hour, and then in the summertime. I'm getting another raise up to like seventeen fifty and po- possibly more because I'm not a hundred percent. I know it's going to at least seventeen fifty in the summer, and then um, it's gonna be seventeen fifty an hour. That's the most money I've ever made in an hour. And they're changing the way the job works. So basically, what my team is gonna be doing is unloading the truck. I think they're gonna be unloading the truck, taking out the pallets, stocking cereal, snacks, and liquids, and then we go to. Uh, Zoning aisles, which basically means like tidying up aisles for the rest of the night. I'm pretty sure that's what it entails. And there might be more to it that I don't know. But that is fucking, first of all, crazy. And, uh, we're honestly, we're, our job got a little easier. A lot easier, realistic, because zoning aisles is fucking really easy. So, like I said, there might be more to it that I don't know. But all I know is that. We're a bunch of stuff that we would normally do is getting taken away. We're not doing it anymore. Cause I don't, I have no idea, hundred percent, what it's gonna be like. But the one thing that I like is that I'm getting a raise, a massive raise, because that job deserves a raise, really bad, because we do dumb bullshit, and we get paid bullshit amount. It's, it's fucked. But the raise we're getting almost justifies it. Completely, so I could definitely deal with that amount of money every seventeen fifty an hour to do that job. I'd say it's pretty good. So if you guys don't know the full story, go to one of my previous podcasts. I talk about one hundred percent what I, what I do, my, what my job is right now. I talk about it in one of my other podcasts. I think it's episode six or something, but I have talked about it before. So you guys want to hear that story, go down to that episode and re-listen to that one. Or listen to it for the first time, I'm not percent sure. But guys, if you are new to the podcast, head to my Twitch and follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash I'm Nexus. That's Twitch.tv slash I'm Nexus. That's I-M-N-E-X-U-S-S-S. That's three S's. Twitch.tv slash I'm Nexus. Go check me out. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode of the podcast. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in a couple of days with Urban Legends Episode 2. Anyway, boys and girls, you have a good night. I'll see you all later.